Hi everyone, I'm Miss Jean. I've been teaching at Creative Dance Theater for more than 20 years. Um, I used to teach all age kids. I used to teach the small, the youngest class of two-year-olds all the way up to our oldest class of teenagers. But now I only teach tops, which is our teenage performing group because I'm a full-time fifth grade teacher and I come to CDT and teach on Tuesday nights to tops. But I used to teach all ages and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite activities that I would do in the spring with my students. And it was reading a poem called Spring. So I'm going to show you the poem that I would read to my students. It's called Spring by Carla Cuskin. And these are all the words to the poem. So there are some words that you might not know. One of the words, when I read them out loud, one of the words you might not know is the dew on the rose. Does anybody know what dew on a rose is? Dew are the little droplets of water that collect on things overnight. So if you go out in the morning, you might see a spider web with little drops of water or flowers with little drop of drops of water. That's called dew. Another word that you might not know is a gamboline lamb. A gamboline lamb just means like a little leaping lamb or playful lamb. Uh, and then the poem says, a bud and a bloom. So if you're thinking of a flower, when a flower starts coming up and you can see the shape of the flower, but it's still closed, that's called a bud. And then when it opens up, it's called the bloom. And then the other words I think you're going to know. So I'm going to read the poem to you. And I'm going to read the poem to you two times. The first time I read the poem to you, I don't want you to do anything. I want you to just sit down and listen and think about the poem, okay? And since we're doing this remotely online, I put some pictures on my screen that I'll share with you to help you kind of think of the images or the pictures that go with this poem. Then the second time I read the poem, you will get up and you will make the poem come to life by dancing it out. Okay, so the first time I read it, you're going to try to sit, look, and listen. Are you ready? Spring by Carla Cuskin. I'm shouting. So when you're dancing this out, what's a move that'll be like shouting? It'll have a lot of energy. It might be really percussive and explosive. I'm shouting, I'm singing, I'm swinging through trees. I'm winging sky high with the buzzing black bees. Why is this person so excited about spring? Hmm. In San Diego, where you live, the season of spring isn't that much different from our season of winter. In our winter, it still can be really sunny out. It might be a little cold. You might not go in the pool or the ocean. But in other places in our country, when it's winter time, it is really cold. They might even have snow. The mountains might be frozen. Um, all the animals and the life and the flowers go away for the winter. So when the spring comes and all of that snow melts and all of a sudden you see little leaves on the trees and flowers blooming from the ground and maybe little baby animals appearing, it's really exciting, especially if you're a kid living in one of those places where now you can go outside and really explore your environment and have lots of fun. Does that make sense? So when you're dancing this out, you're going to have to have so much excitement of it being springtime and everything's changing outside and you're wanting to dance through it all and with it all. I'll start again. Spring by Carla Preston. I'm shouting, I'm singing, I'm swinging through trees. I'm winging sky high with the buzzing black bees. I'm the sun. 
I'm the moon. I'm the dew on the rose. I'm a rabbit whose habit is twitching his nose. I'm lively, I'm lovely, I'm kicking my heels. I'm crying, come dance to the freshwater eels. I'm racing through meadows without any coat. I'm a gambling lamb, I'm a light leaping goat. I'm a bud, I'm a bloom, I'm a dove on the wing. I'm running on rooftops and welcoming spring. So at the end, the last thing you do should be really big when you're welcoming spring. Are you ready to dance this out? Okay, get up, get your body ready. Get yourself in a beginning position and then freeze, no moving. Are you frozen? I'm gonna read the title to the poem and then when I start reading, I'm shouting, that's when you'll get up and dance the whole thing out. And at the end, when I say, I'm welcoming spring, you're gonna do a big move and then you're gonna freeze. That tells your audience that you're done and then I'll clap for you. You ready? Here we go. Spring by Carla Cuskin. I'm shouting. I'm singing. I'm swinging through trees. I'm winging sky high with the buzzing black bees. Get your wings out. Maybe show your stinger. Maybe land on a flower and get your pollen. I'm the sun. I'm the moon. I'm the dew on the rose. Become those little drops of water on the rose. I'm a rabbit whose habit is twitching his nose. Now move around like a rabbit. How does a rabbit move? I'm lively, I'm lovely, I'm kicking my heels. I'm crying, come dance to the freshwater eels. I'm racing through meadows without any coat. I'm a gambling lamb. I'm a light leaping goat. I'm a bud. I'm a bloom. I'm a dove on the wing. I'm running on rooftops and welcoming spring. Peace. Your audience will clap for you. Bravo, bravo. Now you stand up and take a bow or make a curtsy. Nice job. Thank you for dancing out this poem with me. Go CDT for life.